Hi, I'm Coach Corey Wayne, and this is my video coaching newsletter. And the topic of today's newsletter is going to be, does my ex's new boyfriend see me as a threat to their relationship? Well, this particular email is from a guy, he's 27 years old. He's been following my work for over seven years. He read 3% Man 11 times, this beautiful blue book here, and Mastering Yourself Once which both these books are available to read for free in the members area of my website. Just go to understandingrelationships.com, subscribe to the free email newsletter, and boom, the books will open up right in your web browser. So he says he's, what was interesting is he's broken up with his ex some while back, and uh, I guess he says he still follows his ex on Instagram, but she no longer follows him because he just didn't do anything. And then one day he noticed that her new boyfriend, I guess he had an Instagram story he posted, showed up in his feed. So he clicked on it and he watched it. And then, <laughs> and then the boyfriend knew, knew about it. He saw that and then he had something. He slid into his DM and, and said something kind of trolling him. And so this guy's like, does this guy feel threatened by me? And so I thought it was kind of amusing. So it's kind of interesting. I mean, the guy clearly is threatened. He, you can tell he's kind of worried that he may come back and take his ex-girlfriend from from the new boyfriend, and then they ride off into the sunset. And you can tell the guy's trying to – he's just trying to sandbag him. And you know, I won't give away the what the guy said, but it's kind of funny. I'm sure you guys are going to chuckle out of it. He says, hey, coach, my name is Bob, and I'm a big fan of your work. I've read your book 11 times, and I've been following you for seven years, and I recently finished your second book for the first time, and I enjoyed it a lot. I'm currently a 27-year-old PE teacher that's very passionate about sports and fitness. I used to date a 22-year-old woman for two and a half years that recently graduated from undergrad. We matched on Bumble back in September of 2021 and started dating a month later. We broke up in February of 2024 and have and haven't been in contact since. So there are basically what five, six months since well, maybe seven months since they last spoke. The breakup was mutual. I was turned off by her lack of maturity, false sense of entitlement, always having to pay for dates, and her boss girl personality. Yeah, a girl that's too boss girl is too intermasculine, often just difficult to be with. And it's like, it feels like dating another man that you're constantly jockeying for power and control with. She can't just let go and submit and, and let you lead things. It's a turn off. She's, and a woman that acts too masculine is going to turn off any masculine guy that has choices. Her reason for breaking up with me was due to her feeling like we had different lifestyles, views, and values. I was her first boyfriend, and now I'm her first ex-boyfriend. She started dating someone new in May of 2024, so she was single for two or three months after three years with one guy. And I would have to imagine, because it was so it happened so quick, and then you just walked away, because most guys don't, especially when the guy, you know, because women do the dumping 75% of the time. And in this case, she dumped him and he's like, see you later. And he rode off into the sunset, never to be seen or heard from again until now. So she started dating somebody pretty quickly. He says, she started dating someone new in May of 2024, whereas I started dating someone new in July of 2024. I still follow my ex on Instagram, whereas she unfollowed me. However, we're still Facebook friends. I stumbled upon her new boyfriend's Instagram and tapped on his story out of curiosity since he didn't have his profile set on private. Bob, not his real name, but we'll call him Bob. Her new boyfriend noticed that I viewed his story and randomly messaged me through Instagram. Ah, exciting. Makes life interesting, doesn't it? I have attached a screenshotted image of evidence this email for you to view the message he sent to me so 
Because whenever you're on Instagram and you watch a story, the other person sees who watched their stories. So, what do you guys think? Does this guy sound a little threatened by the ex? Because, again, he walked away and never looked back and did the right thing. And, obviously, this girl did a lot of talking about him and talking trash. And so this guy's trying to basically spike the football in hopes that this guy doesn't return. Because if he's in a relationship with this guy's ex-girlfriend and she's constantly talking about her ex to him, on some level he knows she still cares. And if she's bothered by it, probably the fact that she hasn't heard a peep out of him, then on some level he's worried that this guy could probably come back in the picture because they spent over three years together and, and this new guy's only been with her for a matter of months. So he says, guessing you've got nothing better to do than look at your ex, ex's boyfriend's story. I obviously don't know you, but I hope this brightens your day. You are absolutely hated by a bunch of her family and friends with a crying, laughing emoji. I He didn't respond or anything, but it's clear that this guy... Definitely feels threatened by this dude. Because if he didn't care, he would have he would have noticed it or said anything. But the fact that he reaches out to say something negative, in other words, he's trying to deter him. Hey, everybody hates you over here. I just want to let you know, my girlfriend hates your guts, her family hates your guts, and so does her friends. So stay away. He didn't say stay away, but he might as well have. And so he says, I was taken by surprise over the fact he actually went out of his way just so he could prove a point. I never responded nor tapped on the accept button because he's not worth wasting my energy on. Good for you. This is something I've never, because what it does, it kind of causes the ex to wonder, did he see my message? Did he not see it? This is something I've never experienced or encountered with any of my other previous exes before, especially... When they started dating someone new. I have no feelings anymore towards my ex. Nor care what she thinks. Yeah, he's got somebody new. So it's like, fuck her. Am I a threat to her new boyfriend? Well, he definitely perceives it as such. That's why he basically wrote to you to tell you, Oh, everybody hates you over here. So don't think about coming back. And even though he didn't say think about, don't think about coming back. He might as well have. So that should make you feel good because on some level, you know that your ex is still bothered by the fact that you rode off into the sunset with somebody else. And obviously, they've done a lot. You haven't been around in all these months, but her and her new boyfriend, her friends and family are all talking about you. And if somebody talk, if, if the ex is talking about you, she obviously still cares because if she didn't talk about you, I mean, she doesn't give a shit. Am I in a threat to her new boyfriend? Does my ex still care about me? I would say she's still bothered, probably by the fact that you just disappeared and became a ghost. Because at the end of the day, she ended it. Why would he go out of his way to be this hostile towards me over something like this? Because he feels threatened, plain and simple. So he said, <clears throat> so he says, I'd really like to hear your feedback well i wouldn't worry about it you got a new girl but this is the kind of thing that when you see it it should make you feel good because you can tell you're living rent free in the new boyfriend's head and it's clear your ex is still talking about you her family's talking about you and the friends are talking about you and as far as everybody not liking you that might be bullshit he may be exaggerating or using hyperbole but it's clear the new boyfriend feels threatened and is worried that you might come back into the picture. Probably because his girlfriend is always still talking about you. Because again, you walked away and you never looked back. And the strongest negotiating position is being able to walk away and mean it. And you walked away and you meant it and good for you. So that's, you know, revenge is a dish best served cold. You've moved on with your life and you got you, your new girl. And yet your ex and her boyfriend and her friends and family, you're living rent-free in all of their heads. So that feels good. Because if she really didn't care at all, 
this would have never come up. If this guy was confident, he wouldn't have felt threatened. And what's done is done. So there you go. And if you guys haven't already signed up for our paying members only content in the description of this video, there are links to join on YouTube, to join on Spotify, or to join at our website, understandingrelationships.com. Just click the plans tab at the top of your screen on any page when you arrive. And so you can do a seven day free trial and check out what content you get for your money. You can choose a monthly plan or an annual plan. And if you choose an annual plan, you get a 25% discount at the end of the seven day free trial. And so what you get is six additional paid video coaching newsletters that only the paying members have access to, similar to this one. There's a weekly 3% man study group. There's a weekly mastering yourself study group. We have viewer questions podcasts that we do. We have special interviews and other topics that we talk about, especially when I kind of go full breach because you just you can't put those things in publicly monetized videos or whatever because you know YouTube doesn't like that. Neither does Instagram or Facebook for that matter. So you know, for me to be able to say what I want to say, I put it behind the paywall so the paying members who really appreciate my work get to enjoy it. And if also you got a question or a challenge and you want to get my help, go to understandingrelationships.com, click the products tab at the top of your screen on any page of my website, and book a coaching session with yours truly. Until next time, I will talk to you soon. <laughs>